Okay, today is 7.2, interpreting graphs. We're not going to go over the warm-ups. If you have any questions, go come in and see me or go to the uh, Pace Lab. We're going to be talking about parabolas today. Parabolas have a minimum and a maximum point. That's what we're going to try to identify today. <clears throat> it's either the top of the U or the bottom of the U. Maximum means the highest point of the graph. This has a maximum point. This right here is a minimum point. To identify it, I have to put the ordered pair. I go across to negative 2 on the x-axis. I go up to 3 on the y-axis. So my ordered pair is negative 2, 3. Here I go over to 1 on the x-axis. I go down to negative 4 on the y. That's how I identify the maximum or the minimum point. Okay. Three and four you should be able to do on your own. Now we're just going to answer some questions about the parabola. The graph shows the relationship between time in seconds after a ball is thrown in the air and the height in feet. So this tracks a ball that's been thrown in the air. So the ball is thrown, reaches its maximum height, and then comes back down to the ground. This could be a rocket ship. Parabolas track how things travel um, in space and time. Ooh, that was deep. So we're just going to answer these questions here. According to the graph, how long will it take the ball to reach its maximum height? Right here is its maximum height. It's in between 1 and 2, so it's 1.5. And you have to tell me time seconds. After how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? Well, here's where it hits the ground. That's after three seconds. What is the domain? Remember, the domain is the x-axis. So your domain is right here. That's time. It's also going to ask you about your range. Your range is your y-axis. That's height. So... My domain is time. You can put time or time in seconds. I don't really care. My range is height. You can put height or height in feet. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated. Explain what the domain means in the context of the situation. So when you want to know context, it's not just simply time. For example, if I was going to tell you about the movie RoboCop, I would not say it's about a robot. I would tell you what the content of the movie pertain to. It's about an officer that almost gets killed and they turn him into a robot and he walks around and kills everybody. That is the content. So what is the domain telling you? It's telling you how long, that's time, how long, how long what? The ball is in the air. What's the range telling you? Well, the range tells you how high the ball travels, how high it travels up, how high the ball travels. How high the ball travels. How, yeah, I'll go with that. How high the ball travels. Because it goes up to 30 feet. Told me how high the ball travels. Okay. This one's the same thing. Let's look at number seven. This is talking about temperature. This is still a parabola, but it now has a minimum point. What is the minimum temperature of the day? Well, if I look over here, it's 20 degrees. So I have to, I have to be told degrees or it's wrong. At what time did the minimum temperature get reached? Four. I don't know if it's a.m. or p.m. I just put four. What's the domain? Time. What's the range temperature? Well, what does the domain tell you? Um, this could be a lot of different things, okay? I'm going to put how the temperature fluctuates over time. 
what's the range? Well, same thing. How the temperature fluctuates over time. I hope I spelled fluctuates right. Anybody know how to spell fluctuates? I don't either. Maybe I shouldn't use it then. Uh, how the temperature changes. Let's use that word. How the temperature changes over time. All right. That's 7.2. If you have any questions, please come in and ask. Thanks. Have a good day.